Hi, morning everyone. It's my night shift. Just started it's four o'clock in the morning. This morning I'm really tired. I really didn't want to get up, but I'm up. It's darker than any other night. I feel so at least. Maybe it's just me being tired. And today we're really getting closer to Barbados, so we're gonna reach there tomorrow. Um, maybe about 24 hours from now or something like that, 26 hours. And I should be looking forward, looking for fishing boats, maybe stuff like that, I don't know. What other boats might be turning up? We haven't actually seen any other boat at all since... Um, maybe about two weeks ago we saw a shipping cargo. Apart from that, we haven't seen anything. No boats. So, we'll see what I find. But I really don't want to meet them tonight because I just want to sit here and relax. And it's so dark, I don't even know if I'm going to see them. But apparently, I will. That's what the captain says because they're going to have their lanternas on and they're going to be pretty easy to see but I'm not sure, I don't know since I haven't seen anything yet the other night that's about it the sky is clear and the stars are just as beautiful as usual but for some reason it's really dark goodness me I said I mean to go like that Lika, fantastiskt vackert som havet är på vägen. Lika otäckt att kunna öppna. Men man inte kan se någonting. Om det var den där rysa fram, sexsjukning. Och min fas är liksom att det ligger något container som inte har funkat framför oss. Vakter i inte roliga, men man vänjer sig ett lite popcorn, lite apelsin och lite sudok på och snart är det. It's midnight, I'm on my night shift and it's soon gonna end. It's a very clear starry night. The moon, there's no moon, so it's completely dark, but it's, it's beautiful. Um, we have about 14 knots of wind, uh, we're doing about 5 knots of speed. So it's all good, nice and easy, calm, relaxing night. Uh, so with uh, 180 knot nautical miles left, we are uh, running out of fresh food on the boat. So today we're cooking with canned food. If you mix canned food, it's almost like homemade. <laughs> Big carrots. We have less than 100 nautical miles left. So we're getting there tomorrow morning. It's uh, right now we're at 90 and we're doing about five or six knots so we're gonna try to slow it down a bit so we get there tomorrow morning early early Det börjar växa på botten 
Ändå har vi gått så fort. Va? Ändå har vi gått så fort. Men kolla, sådana där växer det väl inte mer än aktiespegel? Nej! Det är inte lustigt. Sista nattvakten, 21 dagar, känns jättespännande att snart få se land. Jag och Kristoffer har bytt nattvakt så att han ska vara den som är, har vakten när vi närmar oss land. För nu har vi 44 bestandsmeter kvar, klockan är eh, 12 GMT, alltså hon är ungefär åtta på kvällen, men det är så att det är en liten mån uppe. Och stjärnklart. Vi går bara med i förskegen för att vi vill gå så långsamt som vi kan. Det har varit en bra korsning av Atlanten på många sätt. Båten är fantastisk. Det var jätteroligt att få göra det här med Kristoffer. Och eh, det har funkat. Det mesta alldeles utmärkt. Tråkigt med alla fisk, fiskdrag som har försvunnit och sådana här nedspänn som vi förstår. Men det mesta var det i alla fall. Svårt är det ljuset. En hel vetenskap i sig. Mm. Just came up on my watch. Lights in Barbados. And, uh, quite close actually. We're only eight miles out from our destination. Eight miles out from, from the point, the northern point of Barbados. So we're getting close and it's getting exciting. get to a new country, you're also required to check into the country. To show that you haven't yet checked in, you hoist a yellow flag signaling quarantine. Since Sweden is part of the European Union, we had not really had the need for one up until now, and we realized halfway across the Atlantic that we didn't have one on board. Luckily, we had a yellow dishcloth, and with some sewing skills, my mom was able to make one that lasted us the rest of the season. I'm really happy to have been able to share this Atlantic crossing with my mom and together with the rest of the crew. We had a fantastic crossing, the conditions were just about perfect the whole way and arriving in another country after so many days out at sea was indescribable. Sailing across a huge body of water at an average speed of about 10 km an hour, that's like running at a slow steady marathon pace. It really gives you an appreciation for how big our planet really is and how much of it is covered by water. So I'm really thankful for this experience and I hope to be able to do something similar again in my life. Port St. Charles, Port St. Charles, Port St. Charles. This is sailing Yacht Jemaya, calling on channel 77, over. We made it to Barbados. Yes, we sure did. So now to celebrate, bacon. Waiting for the custom. And eggs. And then when we have had breakfast, hopefully the customs are open and we can clear into the country. But now we've crossed the Atlantic. 2,800 something nautical miles later. And just about three weeks it took us. Engine died again. Hello. 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 H